Hello friends. You can probably tell there's a good deal of space up there above the garage in the attic. But it's inaccessible by any convenient means and there's no floorboards up there. I'd like to make it a more useful space. Come on inside and I'll show you how I get up there. There's just this hole in the garage ceiling to climb through. I'll also have to fix that hole after I'm done with it. It annoys me to have all this space under my roof that isn't usable for anything. So my long-term plan is to put a subfloor up there and install a walk-up stairway. A longer-term plan might be to finish it out as a bonus room. The original plans for this house provide for a future stairway to be added above the cellar stairs. This will become the bottom of the attic stairs. And the attic stairs will be here. The ceiling there will be opened up and there's going to be an insulated attic door at the top of the stairs up there. But before any of that can happen, I have some projects to do first. I need to fix a bathroom vent that's improperly installed, so it's pumping warm moist air into the attic. Look at this BS! And most of us know the craft paper on the insulation isn't supposed to be facing up like that. But this gets even weirder. There's actually craft paper on the bottom of this insulation as well. After my improvements are proven to dry the attic, I might just strip off this top layer of paper. I'll make that decision before putting the permanent subfloor down. Also, there's a full length ridge vent across the length of our attic but the soffit vents are inadequate to provide good airflow. That needs to be corrected. So I'll be adding more vented soffit panels. But first I need to make it easier to work up there by adding subflooring and lighting. This attic introduction video is about lifting and distributing the first sections of floorboards and clearing some space by removing those temporary ridge supports. So let's get into it. This is currently the only access we have into the attic above our garage. It had this screen over it when we moved in. I needed a length of chain to hang my block and tackle from the rafters above the access hole. The original opening was a few inches too short to accommodate a 4 foot by 4 foot piece of oriented strand board. And about there is 48 inches. So I measured and marked to extend it out to 50 inches. So I need a couple more inches from there. Maybe to there. I'm going to make this hole a little bigger because I'm lifting four foot panels up through here. This is a reasonably straight edge. Not a straight edge. But it's a reasonably straight edge. I used it to extend the joist lines out a few inches for cutting. Just so I can cut along there, out to there. Pretty good. Okay. 
All right, that'll make it a pretty square cut. There's actually two bare bulb light, light fixtures up there. There's one of them, the other one you can't see from down here. This hole in the garage ceiling is the only access to that attic. But it's it's been framed up. The ceiling and floor joists up there. You can see how tall they are. They're two by tens. Uh, this is framed and, and designed to have a finished space up there. So this is the first steps toward doing that. First I have some ventilation problems up there I have to fix. And uh, I'm going to bring some 4x4x3 four by four by quarter inch subfloor up there so I can uh, actually walk around and work up there. That's why I just made that opening bigger so I can fit a 4 foot wide oriented strand board subfloor uh, up there. And these are my first 10 pieces that I'll be bringing up there. They're probably, I'm just guessing, maybe 40 pounds a piece. So it doesn't seem that heavy. But when you're up in there and it's super hot, 100 degrees, and moving them around or trying to push them up through that opening, one guy down here and one above, it's going to be hard work. So. I'm going to use a uh, block and tackle, an old block and tackle I have to actually do the lifting. And so this old block and tackle I picked up at a yard sale somewhere years ago is going to lift those panels up. It's actually old fashioned wooden blocks, uh, double pulleys, forged steel hooks, it's an antique. This rope is just modern nylon garbage. I wouldn't expect this to hold more than a hundred pounds. I'm certainly not going to put more than a hundred pounds on it. But uh, I think it'll work fine for pulling those panels up into the attic here. Probably 40 pounds a piece, I'm guessing. Even if they're 50 pounds a piece, they won't be a problem for this. This acrobatic act may not look safe, but I'm actually sitting down up there at this point. I'm very secure. You'll see a plumb bob dropping down here. I used it to position my block and tackle between the floor joists. Wow, it's hot up there.
I got some help below for this part. First 10 four by fours up here. That'll cover 160 square feet. This attic is, I think, around 720 square feet. It's around 900 square feet without knee walls. The lights are already installed in this segment. Look for my upcoming video about installing these attic LED shop lights. These 2x4s, which obviously do nothing, there's four of them. I think they were originally placed here to hold the, the uh, ridge beam up while they were framing the rafters. And then they just left them here. So these are coming out. They're in the way and they don't do anything. There's actually no weight on them. I think there's only one nail in that. My feet are on top of the central structural beam. There's no risk of falling through here. There might be one on each side. I'm trying not to destroy the 2x4s. Lumber is like gold these days.
It's time to cut the nails. The easiest way to get these out is just to cut the nails on the bottom. Whoops. Guess I didn't have that one cable tied and that's a good thing. So the overarching purpose of doing all the work I've done up here so far and bringing up these pieces of future subfloor and spreading them out is that eventually I'd like to have a floor, a subfloor in this entire attic. The impetus for doing it right now was so I would have uh, a less difficult job of fixing this vent here which will be coming soon on Man About Home. So I'm going to start with clearing some of this insulation out of my way. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. I'll just cut it with a utility knife. And there's the bathroom vent, which some bonehead piped so that it would go out into the soffit over there. 